you see it in her eyes. There's a joy that emanates. It's that it factor. I think glow is visible from one woman to another. I can absolutely tell when someone's got that glow. It's one of those things that it's actually invisible. There's a different tone, there's a different attitude, there's a different perspective on life. I think it's when we're at our lowest lows that, at least for me in my own experience, where we find our greatest strength. You can hope for it, you can beg for it, you can pray for it, but it has a life of its own. So often, we let life happen to us instead of making life happen. I think it is our responsibility to pave the way for the next generation of, of women in leadership roles. It's not a coincidence. It's not by luck that it's happened. It's happened because I've forced the stars and the moon to align. Something divine, something that is all loving and all powerful. So unbearable, so unbearable that I remember one night saying, I'm going to kill myself. I was raised on welfare. Um, I was um, considered mentally retarded. I did not think that I would ever be able to get through a day without red eyes and tears. Failure has taught me many lessons, and especially what not to do again, so I, I think it's okay. Sort of exposing myself to those things helped me to make better choices moving forward. And the people that have put adversity in your way have done you an enormous favor. You can absolutely tell when somebody's in glow. She's someone that you just want to listen to and it's a positive thing. You can't reach out and touch it, but you feel it. It's the passion that they need to find. It's magnetic. That inner radiance. Glow is an energy.